G'day guys, Limpy here, and welcome to another tutorial video. This one is on my new design for a micro pumpkin and melon farm. And this is amazing. It's extremely compact, cheap, and easy to build. Perfect for your survival world, especially in the beginning where you don't have much resources. And I'll show you quickly how it works. Basically, you have a melon on one side and a pumpkin on the other. And if either one grow up, they'll grow up to this spot and the observer block will detect it and fire off straight away and it will then go into your shulker box or your chest, whatever you've got here and done. That's as simple as it is. These emerald blocks are just for decoration, of course, so you don't need any of that, but it really is very small, easy to use and quick to build. All the resources you will need for this build can be found in this shulker box. So the bottom down here are all compulsory. So you'll need a sticky piston, a slime block, an observer block, a hopper, some dirt, redstone, and a repeater. You'll also need some seeds to get it started, some building blocks, a furnace, or some different type of immovable object, a chest or a shulker box, and a hoe to till the soil. All right, let's crack on with the tutorial. First of all, you're going to want to put either a shulker box or a chest and then grab a hopper and face it into it like so. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab your dirt. I'm just going to borrow some from over here and place three next to each other. One on the middle block and one either side. Grab a building block of your choice and come up to, sorry, three, four, five blocks, grab a sticky piston, face that down like so, and then an observer facing up into the sticky piston with one gap in between. You then want to grab a slime block and place it like so. Remove your scaffolding blocks and then put a furnace here. And we can get rid of those as well. A repeater facing out of the sticky piston on top of your immovable block and then place a solid block behind the piston and then bring it back up here back into the sticky piston. You then want to grab some redstone and two bits of redstone on top like that and place this repeater on two ticks. You'll now have a little circuit so your observer will go up into the sticky piston through the observer block, fire off the redstone which will push down the sticky piston and get rid of your block. And that is it. That is the entire build done. Very, very simple. Last thing you want to do is grab your seeds and a hoe, like so. And let's hoe this side and this side, place your seeds. It's a good idea if you grab some bone meal and just three on each side or two, on each side will grow full stalks straight away. That way you don't have to wait around as long waiting for your pumpkins and melons to grow. And lastly, and most importantly, make sure you do a test. So let's put a pumpkin down and a melon down and we can see that it's working perfectly as they go into the chest. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. This has been my micro pumpkin and melon farm tutorial. I hope you like it. It's very small, very compact cheap and also lag friendly. Thanks, we'll see you next time.